my schedule said that this was a drop-by, and it really is. <laughs> it started this morning, and it hasn't stopped. I'm amazed that I'm even close to being on, on schedule by this time. Well, I didn't have any meetings with congressmen, so that's probably why I'm still on schedule. <laughs> well, I heard that all of you would be here today in connection with the American Women in Radio and Television Symposium at the FCC headquarters tomorrow. And I just couldn't pass up the chance to come by and say hello. It's particularly appropriate for you to be meeting at this time, since this is a American Business Women's Day. And uh, as some of the most prominent women in communications, you are outstanding examples of how high talented and hardworking women can climb in our society. And of course, as established professionals, in your own right, your effect and influence are immeasurable. And that brings me to the second reason I wanted to come by. You're all part of one of the newest and most exciting industries in the world. And I feel a very special attachment to you because, as maybe some of you know, although it was a long time back, I had the chance to share in the excitement of the broadcasting industry in its earliest days. They were so early, in fact, that I won't go into details. <laughs> and, uh, but we really believe in this administration that your industry has enormous potential for good, and that's why we want to decrease government interference. So it'll grow bigger and better and enrich the lives of the American people by giving them more and more choices for entertainment, news, and other services. In this connection, I want to thank Mark Fowler and Mimi Dawson for working with you and your president, Jerry Warwick Chrisman, in sponsoring this symposium. It's another example of a private sector initiative working in successful partnership with the public sector. And I'm certain that exchanges that take place between today and tomorrow will result in advances, not only in the traditional communication areas, but in new services and technologies as well. So you have my very best wishes for a successful conference. And I hope you'll accept from an old ex-broadcaster personal best wishes to each one of you in your individual careers. And I can't resist telling at least one story back from the good old days. <laughs> I don't know, I don't mean to get into anything here or run any risk or not, but uh, <laughs> back in those days, I was a sports announcer. I broadcast the Cubs and Sox games, uh, home games out of Chicago and Big Ten football games back in the Midwest. but. You also had to double in brass uh, when you were doing those that uh, you did staff duty as an announcer and so forth. And I remember one day that there was a very noted evangelist from California came to our town, the late Amy Semple McPherson. And you, many of you are probably too young to have heard about <laughs> some of her adventures. But they asked her to be in interviewed in our station, and why they should ask a sports announcer to interview Amy Semple McPherson, I'll never know, but they did. And I asked her a few questions, and she went into a very fervent plea concerning the success of her evangelistic meetings. And I sat down until I heard her saying good night to our radio audience, and I looked up at the clock, and there were three minutes to go, and I didn't know enough about her to fill three minutes, that is, that I could put on the air. <laughs> So I did like this, which meant get a record ready, and uh, came up to the microphone and said, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude this broadcast by the noted evangelist Amy Semple McPherson with a brief interlude of transcribed music. I expected nothing less than the Ave Maria. The Mills Brothers started singing Minnie the Moocher's Wedding Day. <laughs> She did not say goodbye as she left the studio. <laughs> and I can tell you, as she left, her mink coat was standing right out straight in the air behind her. Well, if I get into that, I will be behind schedule here. And uh, it's been a great pleasure to have a few minutes with all of you. God bless you all. Okay.